Hello guys, Krillis here. Welcome to this guide on how to get the Chloranthi ring, the Flynn's ring, and some additional items as well. So uh, we start out here in the Road of Sacrifices bonfire right after this chapel where you fought the, the knight, the outrider from the Boreal Valley. You want to go back to the elevator and then you want to take the elevator back up. You might have done this with involvement in the quest line for Zigward. This is where you met him the first time. Uh, however, if you did not know how this elevator works, you have to step on the, the, uh, the button there and then jump back off. Rah! There we go. And the, the one elevator will go down and another one will come down from the top. Now from here, you can either take the elevator back up to, all the way to the top and you'll be able to talk to the giant who throws spears at you, making him a friend of yours, assisting you with dealing damage to enemies instead of you. But you want to face the, the back of the, the church and jump off right here next to these planks. And out here is where you'll do some parts of, of the uh, the quest line for Zigward. However, we want to continue down this path and get some loot instead because I've already done the quest. Uh, so first of all, we have two hanging corpses above this little little house here uh, underneath the big balcony. Uh, so you want to proceed up this little roof here and cut those down. You'll get some, some a nice armor set and some, some items. So here we get the northern set, uh, looking pretty nice. We get the pale tongue for the Rosaria Covenant. And over here by behind the fire we get the large club, already getting some items there. Uh, afterwards you want to proceed over here to the right side of this place and you go come into this stable looking house. Uh, be careful though, you've seen these things before hanging above us. They will trigger if you, you loot some of the stuff here, these arm freaking caged looking ah, monstrosities uh, yeah so you want to proceed here to the left as you can see this is an obvious trap these things in the the, uh, the roof will come to life so you want to pull these guys if you can shoot them down and take them down get some loot in the corner there however not really worth it to be honest uh, the good loot is at the end of this area in this room we'll find a one of these guys ah, so annoying uh, but to, more importantly, to behind us, <laughs> there are two dogs being annoying as always. These dogs are so quick and, and fast, especially in this little, uh, like, uh, small area like this one, this house here. They are especially vicious. Uh, next room is another room with similar trap like the previous one. Uh, you don't have to pull this one here to, to the right and get loot from the chest. Some human pine resin. Continue up the stairs and you will see two of these ministers looking fat ladies, uh, the, the preachers. Uh, you can either take them down or run past them. They will deal a lot of damage to you, however. Deal bleed damage to you, uh, who that deals amazing damage. But take them down and proceed up here to the, uh, the, uh, the roof. And we are almost done now. We are almost at the end. Because here, on this roof, you'll fly find the amazing Flynn's Ring. Dealing damage in pro invertly proportional to your equip load. So the less you wear, or the less vitality you have, the more damage you do. Pretty amazing, the Flynn's Ring. Ah, uh, but also you can jump down here to this little little tower. Uh, be sure, by the way, to check out the back here if you want some additional homeward bones. Um, they will give you two homeward bones that you can use when you want to return, if you want to use them, or you can save them for later. Here you have to do a quite a tricky jump, quite similar to the well in the Jewel in Dark Souls 2. You jump across there and you roll down to the bottom. If you have the silver cat ring, you can jump down without taking damage. You get the mirror set, uh, and you get the chloranthi ring, pretty amazing. So the chloranthi ring gives you stamina recovery, and the, the mirror set is the set, or is parts of the set from, from Luca Teal of Mira back in Dark Souls 2. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, be sure to check out the rest of my guides in the playlist, or by subscribing to my channel. Uh, like and dislike the video and share it with your friends if you think they can find this this enjoyable. I've been Kudlus and I hope you find this guide fun as well. See you guys next time and bye bye.